Fort Worth ISD says some of its own students caused a lockdown at Poly High School today. Students say two Police say two students robbed someone. They then fled to their school where they were found with a handgun. As News 8's Lauren Zakalik tells us, the district is now trying to figure out how the students got into that school. Well, parents rushed to Poly High School this morning after getting frantic text messages from their children that they were on lockdown, that it was not a drill, and that someone inside had a gun. Tearful parents and shaken students packed the front lawn of Poly High School trying to find one another after a terrifying Tuesday morning. My heart was beating really fast and I didn't know what to do. I just thought I got to call my mom just in case I don't make it. Junior Hilda Villegas immediately texted her mother that her Fort Worth school was on lockdown, that police were everywhere and that she was scared. They just told me to hide under the tables and just stay quiet. What we now know from the district and police is that two poly students had been involved in a robbery around 10 a.m. As they fled police, they ran into their school. District spokesman Clint Bond said one of them had a gun. The school immediately went into lockdown, so um, those kids were quickly detained. The question now is how did those students gain access into the locked building? And I don't know if somebody was coming out and they just ran in or what, but that's going to be part of our investigation. I was just like, oh my God, I was like, Lord Jesus, my worst fears come true. Gloria Gonzalez knows her son practices these drills, but rushed to his school when she realized it was real. I said, um, just keep texting me, just keep texting me. I, I told him I, I loved him and I told him just keep texting me. Let me know you're okay. I said, don't stop texting me. No one was injured and no shots were fired. The juvenile suspects were both charged with aggravated robbery and one was charged with prohibited weapon in a weapon-free zone. They remain in juvenile detention. In Fort Worth, Lawrence Akalik, Channel 8 News.